strangers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a brand new series. It's called Three Ways. Basically how you can use one ingredient three different ways. It's to kind of show you how you can get versatile with a single ingredient and not get bored using it the same way over and over and over and over again. One eternity later. And over and over and over and over again. I think you get the point. Um, today we're going to be talking about potatoes. I'm a potato. So there are almost 4,000 varieties of potatoes, you guys, and there's like seven different types it can come under. But there are three main categories I wanna to talk to you about because that's what you find in supermarkets. You've got the starchy potato, which is basically more flowery, which makes it very creamy once you use it and once it's cooked. Then you've got a waxy potato, which is more sweeter and it holds its shape. Whether you roast it, you boil it, it doesn't matter, it holds its shape well. And then you've got an all-purpose potato, which basically works across every aspect so whether you boil it you roast it it doesn't matter it can hold its shape and it can be creamy today i'm going to be using all three because why not i love potatoes i'm going to be using the starchy potato for the mash because it's going to make it extra creamy and really nice and then i'm going to use the waxy potato to make this potato salad so it holds its shape once it's boiled and obviously for the box tea which is the potato pancakes i'm going to be using a mixture of both because you get a little bit of bite as well as that creaminess in the pancake texture now that we've talked about potatoes, I think we should start cooking. Let's get started. Start the mashed potatoes off. You're gonna have to first boil your potatoes. And let me just tell you, do not boil potatoes in hot water. Start them in cold water. Let it come to a boil and then boil it until it's completely soft. So I've already boiled my potatoes and they are completely soft and you should just be able to peel it off really well. And you can see that it's so soft, it's just breaking in my hands. So I've got my potatoes ready all three ways. I've got the mashed potato over here and you can see I've got a little bit of butter melting in there. I've got my potato salad as well as my box tea which is your potato pancakes with a fried egg and some bacon because you know why not. I'm gonna start by tasting the mashed potato and so I like my mashed potato really creamy okay and it's almost like a puree of sorts. It's not claggy and it's not like you know what I mean. That was a bad sound, but you get my point. So I like it really creamy like this, but if you like it less creamy, add less liquid, add less milk, add less cream. If you like it more creamy, you can add more of it, no problem. But okay, I'm just gonna go taste it now. Oh. Mm. It's a big spoon firstly, okay? But that potato though, it's so creamy. If you want it super, super, duper, trooper smooth, you can pass it through um, a sieve just to ensure that there are like no tiny, tiny lumps. I like it because I made it in the food processor and this is how I like it, so. Okay, let's taste the next one. Potato salad. This is like a meal in itself, yo. It's got like eggs, it's got potatoes, it's got greens. Beans, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lambs, yes. Okay. You name it. <laughs> okay, so traditional potato salad. Let me just have a bite first, okay? Oh man. Oh man. My food dance. It's kicked in. It's kicked in. Okay. So 
Traditional potato salad needs to have mayonnaise in it. I don't like mayonnaise. So I'm using yogurt, which is really nice. Use Greek yogurt, a full fat yogurt is best. It's lighter, but you really don't miss that creaminess from the mayo because the yogurt really adds that. The tahini is my addition. It adds a lovely nuttiness to it and it's really yummy. Let's go to the box tea. Okay, this one, I'm just gonna have a little bit of the pancake and I'm just gonna like dip it into the yolk just a little bit to get that, you know, just a little oozy oozy situation. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is so good. These pancakes are like traditional Irish pancakes, so they are quite heavy. You can have this in the morning. You can have it with a poached egg instead of a fried egg, scrambled eggs as well. You can cut them up in half, serve them as triangles. It's really up to you. The bacon for me is an addition. But that pancake and the egg is just like, happy days. Okay, 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 I'm gonna go eat my potatoes now, okay. Okay, ninjas, this is how I make potatoes three ways. There are so many ways you can cook potatoes, but these are some of the recipes I make most often in my household. The mashed potatoes serve really well with some grilled chicken or even with beef or lamb or pretty much anything, honestly. The potato salad is a great table salad which you can serve with greens or with any non-veg item that you prefer and you're serving with. The box tea are beautiful breakfast pancakes which you can either have it sit down with a meal like eggs and bacon like I did or you can just have them as it is. They're great tiffin box lunches because they hold really well so you can even carry it for lunch or a tea time snack if you're feeling hungry. They are really versatile recipes and the whole point is for you to make it your own. But I just wanted to show you how I would serve it. So I'm going to get back to my potatoes. I'm going to thank you for Positive Ninja Vibes until my next video.